So what is the first thing I'm thinking when I hear the word uh, science? It's definitely airplanes. Actually, airports are for me a place where I spent a lot of time in the past. Sometimes I just like to just sit at the gate and look at people going, just enjoying the sun there. During my studies, uh, I specialized in uh, aeronautical uh, engineering. Then, um, Starting uh, my PhD, it was like a new beginning for me, so a new, a new takeoff. France is playing tonight and winning. I wake up around 7.30 or 8. Usually I, I walk to the institute and then at the institute I start with my morning coffee. A big part of my uh, research implies uh, numerical simulations. Uh, usually what I do in the morning is that I check that all the simulations are, are running properly. Uh, depending on the day, I can also uh, do some experimental uh, work. So for example, I, I had to design this uh, experimental uh, test facility. So this took me also a lot of hours just building and also choosing the different components. And now I am also able to, to run this uh, experimental test facility. So this means that I have to switch on a lot of different machines. Then I can switch on the rig. The main objective of this test rig is to measure the performance of the compressor. So you have different sensors placed at different locations and they, in the end they will measure, uh, for example, pressure, temperature, and with all of this, you can uh, characterize the, the performance of the machine. So it's actually what we call a, a compressor wheel. I have designed uh, plenty of those. Usually I design them on my computer, so I have it uh, on my screen. But what I like to do is in the end to, to print them in 3D, just to see uh, how they look like in reality. And sometimes even uh, just by printing them and see how they look like, I could make some uh, modification to it. Uh, it's definitely the, the French one. It's quite simple, you just have to put butter everywhere. Everything is better with butter, especially the, the salty one. <laughs> Sometimes I either go uh, with my colleagues to have lunch, or I, if uh, yeah, sometimes I like also to go for a run. It's a good place here yeah, to have a run during lunchtime. Actually, I have uh, one hobby, which is um, gardening. And so I have this app where I can um, so take a picture of a plant that I don't know. And then thanks to a database of photo and some machine learning, it will directly tell me to which uh, species this plant uh, belongs to. So it's, it's quite a gadget, but still uh, <laughs> I really like it. Oh, yeah. Actually happens uh, between any objects. If you take the example of this uh, lemon here and this uh, orange, you will have a force of attraction. So this means that the lemon will want to go towards the orange and the orange will want to go towards the lemon because you actually don't see them moving toward each other. But this is because gravity actually very much depend on the size of the object. So this is why in the end you don't see them uh, moving toward each other. However, if you start to take a bigger object like, like the Earth, which is very big, very massive, then all the objects on the surface of the Earth will be subject to, to gravity. Oh, yeah. So I get back to 
back home, I take the S-Bahn again. And if I have some spare time, I like to spend time on one of my hobby, electronics, uh, gardening. So what I did here is um, I programmed a small microcontroller, which is actually also connected to a pump and different sensors like uh, humidity and temperature sensors. It's actually watering the plants when it's necessary. So for example, if the humidity of the soil is too, too low, or if I ask for it, for example, here you have this small web page where uh, if I activate the pump like so, it will automatically drive water to the plant. One of my hobby, photography, yeah. running again, why not? Cooking, it might be a cliche for Frenchmen. Also the apéro before, of course. And then after, after dinner, well, usually maybe watch a, a movie or a TV show and then yeah, go to bed. And this is where uh, the World Wide uh, Web was invented. And I think that today we can say it was completely worth it to have those uh, projects at the time with all the people involved. Uh, for me, it's most of the time just a, a game and I like to, to play the game. Scientists work together and build very big machines with the hope that one day they can explain uh, how the world is working.